All right, here's what we got, and here's the new challenge I'm going to face. Um, it's not a leak in the pond dam per se. What it is is the water is coming in up here somewhere and then exiting down here. Um, but I had the, the third T-post up here, but I think Mrs. Capper moved it to mow this summer. So now I don't know exactly where the water was going in at. I mean, you could see I got a sinkhole right here. Um, and the the goal, the objective is to take it up, take it down to wherever it's going in, and then it's coming out down here. So you got to take this all out and collapse it and repack it. Ideally, it's good to use fresh dirt, but it's so wet I might have a you know hard time getting some new dirt. So let me think on this. But we're gonna start digging here. I mean, obviously we've got one starting point, but. Maybe I could find where it was going in at up there. Okay, thank goodness for YouTube videos. Uh, let's go back and watch a clip really quick about this. Okay, so now back to today again. This is what Mrs. Capper found while she's out there. It is coming up out of the dam. Um, this is the exit of all the water that you just saw at the top going in there. So there is the hole right up there at the top. The water is going inside the dam um, in probably both of those spots it's going inside the dam and it's exiting right here at this spot right here at the base of the dam now if that was oil that might be pretty cool but this actually is really good news and let me tell you why so the good news is that it's not way in the bottom bottom of the dam okay that's really good so basically between this outlet hole at the bottom and up towards the two holes up at the top that's where I have to cut I have to cut that out with the excavator and repack some new good clay in there and basically rebuild that section but that is All right so now that you've seen that now I figured out okay these were the two entrance holes and it was coming out way down there but it was just seeping out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start digging this out here and see if I could find a cavern. Hopefully it's not that large and basically fill it back in and pack it down. I got my two foot digging bucket and I'm bringing the three foot bucket just in case I need to go get a little bit more fill. Uh, it's been wet, but it's been dry for like two days. So we'll hope it's dry enough, but either way, it's really nice.
not sure if you could see, but some of this was wet, okay? That's what I'm looking for, the wet stuff. And I pulled some wet stuff out of here. All right, so now I'm in here, and this is all dry. But you can see right here, that's still a little moist. So that's the, that's the tunnel. So I'm going to collapse a little bit more of this. And then basically repack all this and grade it. I mean, the, the whole goal here is to get the water so it just goes like this and runs straight down the hill. So it doesn't have a hole to get into. Okay, there's a little more wet down here. Which is where the tunnel's going to be. And when I say tunnel, you know, you're talking just a really small... I mean, otherwise we'd have it really washing out down there. So you're talking about just a really fine little bitty tunnel in there. I'm going to just loosen that up and then I'm going to start, I'm going to basically pack it back in there except for that rock if I can remember where I laid it and then I got to pack this and grade it. I don't, I might have some clover which still might germinate.
All right, this is my second scoop. It looks like I'm gonna need at least three. I don't know that I can show you in the camera, but now I'm seeing like between my two digs here, even where the weeds that I didn't touch, this is this whole thing is a little bit sunk. So something underneath, you know, a, a rock, a big rock or something, let it sink. So now I gotta be, build it back up. So I'm gonna need probably at least three. Um, these are big and heavy. Uh, for that size excavator, these full loads of clay are really at the max of what it can handle. But we'll get one more and start grading. scoop of dirt and then I'm gonna start compacting it and grading. Right, not bad for being winter time I got most of my ruts out you know there's still a little bit of roughness left but I think it'll work I'll try and uh, there's a little little divot down at the bottom I gotta try and rake that out a little more all right I got the Polaris I got the drag shovel rake and a little bit of uh, winter wheat we're gonna try and tighten it up nice I haven't been in this for a little while Okay, got it uh, smoothened out just a little bit with the rake got some wheat planted on there even in all this stuff I threw some wheat down now I'm gonna run the drag over it and we're out of here I got it in uh, low gear, four wheel drive, and in work mode. You just you get a lot more instant power in that work mode on these loose hills. 
wheels and towing that uh, rake on the wet clay. And the heat's on, so it's really warm in here, so that's really nice. Right, there we go much better much better this might be a little mini food plot if it comes up oh, I missed this spot up here all right one more drag one or two and I'm done then looking good that looks really good I mean that looks better than a lot of parts of the dam itself because they settle like you look up here you can see this little shelf here where it's bare uh, I mean you know they just they have a certain amount of settling no matter what really nice that's it for that project, not bad for an 